right, this is my reaction on the Jeezy vs. Gucci Mane uh, battle the versus joint. I mean, I knew the backstory on the whole backstory, even like that backstory, like days before the whole, like, you know what I'm saying, where T.I. dropped off. But at first, they did. Jeezy wanted Gucci at first anyway. He wanted him at first anyway, like, you know what I'm saying. And then they put T.I. in there, and then T.I. got out, and then Gucci was. Jeezy, they was like, you know what I'm saying, Jeezy, who you want? Jeezy was like, I want Gucci. Swiss went to Gucci. Gucci respectfully declined. First time, second up. Take me to decline. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. So, when he calls him back and says, well, look, well you really trying to do this drink, he, Gucci says, okay, well, Strictly street shit. Notice Gucci doesn't. He, he kept it all. That old dissing track. This, 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 this. This is a battle. He was. He came to battle. He came to let all that shit off his chest right there in front of you. He feel me. He said like, if I go, I got to. I got to. I got to. I got to. I got to perform the truth. Right there on the stage. It's not a fact of the matter to get you out of your character. Like, everybody trying to say, like, oh, he tried to get him out of his character. No, he wanted to disrespect that man on the stage in front of everybody. It's kind of like bitching the nigga. You feel me? Like, that's the street shit. You feel me? Like, if I got a problem with a nigga, nigga, that got a problem with me or whatever, I'm a bitching nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, you bitching nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't bitch shit out of that nigga, though. Man, that nigga ain't do shit. Oh, I, I commend that nigga. So we no cameras around, and G's got bitch like that, and then they came out on the internet afterwards. My screen cracked like a mug. Oh my god! But anyway, you know what I'm saying? We're in the story, right? And with the whole mission of King Von and the the, uh, you know what I'm saying? And with the Bootsy and the Mastery and all that, that really ain't got nothing to do with like, you know what I'm saying? Like Gucci Jeezy stuff, like. You put a, a bounty on a man, and then they go try to, your homeboys go get the bounty, try to go get the bounty or whatever per se happens, per se, boom, bam, bow. And it's, it Gucci does his thing. You feel me? So that's the backstory on it. So that's why Gucci didn't perform. And when I say perform, I mean perform, because Gucci was out there performing. Gucci ain't sit down the whole time. He was there to perform. He was there getting that shit off his chest. While Jeezy was kind of job, like, let the song play, sit down. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple of he had to get up for. Because of some songs, you just got to get up for. Jeezy, Daddy, you couldn't sit down for some of them jumps. And then when he tried to come back with a couple diss jumps, it wasn't the same. You feel me? And I was watching, and I... I don't know, it slipped my mind, so I missed I had to watch on somebody else's joint. And when I was watching on somebody else's joint, like like an hour after it happened, it was like, dude was from New York. He didn't really know anything about trap music for real, for real. Seriously, like seriously, seriously. Like, it was <laughs> when the bankroll joint played, right? He was like, yeah, y'all don't even know this junk. Y'all was babies when this junk came out. That's bankroll fresh. You don't even know who that is. Like, dog, you don't even know. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was a beautiful show for the real fans of Gucci and real fans of Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, I mean, I always said it, like, Jeezy changed his style up. Right right with so icy. Right then Trap of Die came out. You know what I'm saying? You ran into Gucci. Y'all got in the studio with. You know what I'm saying? They come shot with me. Yeah, it was the same timing, but it wasn't the same rhyming, you know what I'm saying? So it was like a whole pay homage thing, and that's where the beef had, that's where I see the beef came from from the outside looking in, third person point of view, you feel me? 
And from looking at the battle, that's where I looked at the battle. As a true fan of uh, Jeezy and a true fan of trap music from the beginning all the way back to just rap music, just not hip hop, where it ain't about the lyrics and it's about what they saying. You know what I'm saying? It's about being that 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 trap of the year. Man, that's cheesy. They the business man. That's why he said, you know, I own half of Atlanta. You can't wear half of Atlanta, dog. Half of Atlanta got a whole bunch of bums on it. You own the land. The jewelry depreciated don't buy the, the, the that five million dollars of jewelry, hey, guess what? You can buy some land with that too. That shit don't depreciate. That land do. Land gets vandalized, you gotta pay taxes on some more shit. I mean, you know, you know I own half Atlanta, right? Okay. What you doing with it? See, I criticize Jeezy on a lot of stuff because I, you know what I'm saying? I was the Jeezy fan, dog. And then when that beef shit kicked dog, when the Back to the Trap House came out, and when, when Gucci was dissing Jeezy, I was on Jeezy's side at first. Back then. And then I really got into it and really got to listen to everything and really got to looking at the beef. And I really looked at this beef. And I really looked at the verses. And I really know what it was about. Because I really know that Jeezy, because I really follow Jeezy still. And I still listen to Jeezy music. See, I'm not just like, uh, oh, five trap star that used to listen to Jeezy that was trying to listen to the verses for the old shit. I wanted to hear if Jeezy was going to play that new song with Yo Gotti. He didn't play that. Why you ain't play that, Jeezy? Come on, man. Because it was all about that old beef. But it was all about you putting out your new album also, Jeezy. Come on, bro. Keep it real. That wasn't about the culture. It was about you putting out your new album. Real live. I mean, anybody can say anything. Maybe it was. Just so happens you just put out that album. Hey, I, I seen you put out that video, Rick Ross, right after that joint, too. Black money. I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? I think, I mean, instead of putting 10000 on that man's chain back in the day, you should have went with him. That would have been the greatest team of all time, man. Y'all niggas would have been trap king forever. Trap gods, trap lord. Unstoppable. Just can't wait till it happen now. I don't even really want it though. For real. It's too late. A Jeezy and Gucci mixtape. Nah. Gucci done evolved. Jeezy's still 05. He still sound the same to me. You feel me? I listened to the, the album that came out before, or the mixtape or whatever it was that came out before the one that just came out yesterday, when, right when the verses come out. The one before that. And I was like, man, this new Jeezy sound like it, man. I feel like it's on 05, man. I feel like I'm listening to that 05 Jeezy, man. Everything listening like, sound like 05 Jeezy. So I don't mean, I don't know, man. Say something on my nerves, bro. I don't wear glasses, man. I don't see how people do this shit. Glasses. I don't wear glasses. But, yeah. So, who won? Everybody won. That's who won. Everybody won. Gucci got his shit off his chest. Jeezy made his business move. They both got paid. They broke a record of 1.5 million viewers. That was amazing. Show you what trap do, man. Trap, rap, not hip hop. Not hip hop. Not them lyrics, them boom bap, boom bap, snip slap, boom bap. Trap, Gucci. If you had Nas and Jay-Z, I bet you they wouldn't break that record. You had 50 Cent and Ja Rule, Maybe. That would be a good one. But the verses that we need to have, the verses that we need to have, Willie D, you said it.
NWA versus motherfucking Ghetto Boys, dog. NWA versus Ghetto Boys. Let's get back on some positive shit. Get back on that movement. Get back on this rap motherfucking shit. Go take it back, man. Take it back to NWA versus Ghetto Boys, man. The classic rap tracks that we all love. You feel me? Get back to them Jones, mo. Let's get back to that. Let's get back to that, man. But make sure y'all go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel, like the videos, all that good stuff, man. Make sure y'all check out Mighty Ma. You know what I'm saying? My nephew, he eight years old. He's a rapper. <laughs> he the <laughs> kid trap star. Make sure you check out my new joint, Strip Life. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not connect. Nah, I'm a connect. I'm not the plug. All you need to know, I got to do. Coding burgers that I roast, keep like Molly V, another good life. But yeah, you can get into that. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Check me out on my podcast, man. Waybyjohn.com, man. You know what I mean? We got the website. You ready to start making grills? Your grill. Your grill. You know what I'm saying? We got the, you know what I'm saying? We got the custom machine working. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We ready to make custom grills. Custom pieces, you know what I'm saying? Big W Studios, you know what I'm saying? We still making music, you know what I'm saying? Got John the Doggy Depot, got dog clothes, everything. So, you know what I mean? It don't take much to support, you know what I mean? Give a dollar, go on Apple, buy a song, whatever. Like my post. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Lights Out Way, Way by John. But yeah, like I said, on the versus battle, who won versus Jeezy, Gucci? I say Gucci won because he got up there and he kept it like it was it was a street joint. That's why a lot of songs wasn't played. You know what I mean? It was just certain songs that that Jeezy knew that he had to play. Like Soul Survivor, he had to play Soul Survivor. Uh, like a lot of a lot of that one oh one oh one that he had to play. You know what I mean? Did he play my president of black? I cannot remember if he played that or not, dog. Probably did. And then, like, I be hating when people be saying, like, Gucci be having a rack of features. Gucci be having a rack of features because he be making the fucking artists. Look at the Migos. What happened to them after no Gucci features? Look at the Migos. Where the Migos at? Anybody seen the Migos? Anybody. 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 I hear about Cardi B. That's why you hear about Offset. Motherfucking Quavo had to jump on a pop smoke motherfucking shit. Woo, woo, hope it would shake the room. Man, that shit would've been hard without Quavo. Woo, woo, woo. R.P. Pop Smoke. R.P. Uh, King Von. R.P. Motherfucking Von Street. God damn, boy. Y'all niggas dropping like flies out here, bro. Fuck that shit, mo. My little man ain't going out like that. You know what I mean? We ain't beefing. We about the bread. We about the brand. We about the money. We about the black wealth. Not because I'm racist or anything like that. Because I'm black. And I'm trying to be wealthy. Get it? So, of course, I'm going to be about black wealth. Because I am black wealth. But, yeah, though. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you liked it, loved it, and like I said, make sure y'all holler at your kid. Hey, you like my dog, Jana? You see my dog, Jana? She in the dress and shit. She fly. You know what I'm saying? We fly. You feel me? Big W. Out of here. Gone.